How's it going everybody? Thanks for watching another video. So today we're going to continue shaking out them Cabin Fever Blues by taking a look back at Pearl Harbor's 75th anniversary. Now if you haven't seen the first part to this video, I'm going to leave a link for it right up here. But today we're going to start off by touring the USS Bofin, crossing the Admiral Clary pontoon bridge and taking a tour of the Mighty Mall on the inside, and then closing it up with a tour of Punchbowl Cemetery. Let's have a look. And as a quick reminder, if you're running out of things to watch, click on my channel icon. I got over 20 plus playlists for you. This just in, Reload Hawaii finishing off his 75th anniversary video on Pearl Harbor. And we're back. We're going to be visiting the USS Bofin and Missouri and finishing off with a small tour at Punchbowl Cemetery. That's the USS Bofin there in the back right. We're looking at the waterfront memorial by the Submarine Museum. Let's talk about the Bofin. One year after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, on the exact day, it was launched to wreak havoc on the Japanese Navy, and that's what it did. It was nicknamed the Pearl Harbor Avenger. Sunk around 44 ships, it could carry 24 torpedoes, 10 in the tubes, 14 on the torpedo racks. It had six torpedo tubes in the front, four in the aft section. It carried two V-16 General Motors diesel engines that could produce 1,375 horsepower. Had a crew of about 70 to 80, had one 5-inch 25 caliber gun, one 40 millimeter, and one 20 millimeter. Mm. As you can see, those are beds and racks, or beds or racks. Racks or beds, leave me alone. In the torpedo room, uh, it was said that guys like to sleep there. Those two metal poles are sonars. They just duck, dip them into the water. It's an officer's head there. We're in officer country here. But they like sleeping in the torpedo rooms because it was quieter and darker. I mean, this technically is just one big tuning fork. If you hit it, the vibration travels throughout the whole ship. Um, ah, God, it's so narrow in here. I don't remember it being this narrow. I, just, I must be getting bigger because I know the ship ain't getting smaller. There's a look at the uh, more racks there that fold up and down. We're in the control room now. All these knobs are different sizes, so you can tell what they are in the dark. That ladder there goes up to the conning tower. So hard to get good shots in here. It's so tight. And I tried to get a shot of the Christmas tree. It's to the upper right-hand corner, way down there. It's got green and red lights. Green means you can dive. All the hatches and vents are closed. Ooh, you thought you had a small kitchen. Check that out. She ranked 17th overall in total tonnage sunk. General mess area. 15th in total ship sank. Or sunk. Am I using that right? I don't know. There you go. And that right there is about the size of a, a bathroom or a toilet in an airplane. Got a shower stall in here. Sink to shave and brush your teeth. Brush up, brush up, brush up, brush up. And there's a shot at the engine room. There's two of these. And again, they house two 16 valve diesel engines. Look at the size of that cleaning brush. Man. There's a view of the five incher. That's what she said. When you're done, visit the museum. You can see the Scooby Doo guy and one donger of a missile. When you're done, right in the back, catch a bus. Head over to Ford Island. You'll be greeted right on the outside of the USS Missouri with this memorial to the USS Oklahoma. Each of these marble sticks has the name fallen service member from the USS Oklahoma. And it's in the shape of the bow from the USS Oklahoma. And right to my back is where the entrance to the USS Missouri is. It's not far away, it's like 20 yards away. So let's talk about the USS Missouri, nicknamed the Mighty Mo. 134 officers, 2,400 enlisted, 212,000 shaft power, it's another way of saying horsepower. It could carry 2.5 million gallons of oil fuel, 30,000 gallons of aviation fuel, and 239,000 gallons of fresh water. Its main guns are 16 inches, 50 calibers, 50 caliber rounds, 2,700 pounds, could fire 23 miles at pinpoint accuracy. That's them right there. 
Its secondary guns were 5 inch 38 caliber guns in six dual mounts, like that there in pairs. 55 pound projectiles to, that could travel 9 miles. She could carry 32 Tomahawk missiles. Not bad for back in the day. Here it is, right on this spot. September 2nd, 1945, the Mighty Mole traveled into Tokyo Bay and the instrument of surrender was signed on that very spot. On this very deck. Let's go up to the bridge. That's the helm. Ooh. Excuse me, sir. I'm speaking. Yeah, so the helm is like a thick knight's helmet. You can see all these little slits and the concrete is just massive. Seriously, look how thick that door is. It's nuts. All right, let's go check out where the officers' uh, rooms are. Entrance here is through the ward. Now, we don't want to be up here. This is all where the, everything's neat, right? We want to where, be where, where all the cool people hang out. That guy right there on the right, that's where we want to be. That's the exit. And to get there, we're going to head aft to the back of the ship. Backwards. Crap. How's it, ladies? Be right back. Oh, it's hot as hell down here. Oh, that's cooler. Okay, half an hour. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> oh, I got you. Don't laugh at my fake laugh. Yeah, there's a museum in here. It is a freaking maze down here. This is a floating city. It's got everything that you need to survive and way more room than a submarine. Obviously, it's bigger. But they got the bakery there. There's a separate place to prepare vegetables. They have a place we're gonna see for, you know, to get paid. There's a post office, there's a library, there's a classroom, there's a computer lab. There's a special place to make tasty treats like donuts. It's like I'm in a first person shooter game. If I was being chased by a zombie through here, I would be falling all over the place. Oh, there it is. Tasty treats. And we got the chow line here. Well, something breaks. Look at the size of that lathe right there. It's massive. Oh, look at that bit. Fix it now. What do we got here, Ed? I don't even want to know how much machinery was in there and how much it cost, but that lathe was insane. See the size of that drill bit? You got a computer lab in here, classroom. They got a JAG officer on board, Judge Advocate General, it's basically a lawyer. Ooh, it's a, they got an apple pen. You got an apple pen? That's where you get paid, son. Give me my money. And I almost missed this jewel right here. It's just a small opening, but check it out. I'm going to squeeze my fat butt right in here and... Uh, look at 
at that, I cannot, I mean, I'm a small dude and I cannot imagine living in these quarters. So I don't think, much appreciation to anybody that serves on a battleship or any type of aircraft, any ship, especially a submarine. That's a special group of people right there that works on a submarine. Silent service, man. Submarines are always on the bottom, not making a sound to anybody. Even this little area is like a maze. Well, time to get out of here. I would suggest buying the all-day passport for this place. We can go everywhere. No bags, remember that. Zero. No purses, no nothing. Over to Punchbowl Cemetery. My dad is buried here. My uncle, my dad's brother, is buried here. My grandma and grandfather are buried here. My great-grandmother is buried here. I'll share this with you. The last time I was here, I parked where that gray car was at on this very path. Walked right up here to this pavilion rotunda area. Put my dad's ashes down on this little green pedestal. Sat there with my mom when the service was done. I walked up this path here to the old niches, to the new ones. Well, they were new back then. That was in 2005. They're building new ones down on the bottom of the entrance to the right. They're running out of space here. And I carried my dad's remains to his final resting place here. Ooh, how's that song selection? Hmm. Which is here on this wall here? In the very back of the cemetery, there is a gigantic memorial where all of the ceremonies and services are held. There will be one on December 7th. This page homage and tribute to all of the fallen soldiers that served in the Vietnam War, World War II, the Korean War. And on the back hallways there are maps of all the campaigns for the different uh, battles that we fought, like in Iwo Jima, Vietnam, Wake Island, Solomon Island. It's all back there. There's actually a chapel back there as well. Guys, that's the ending of the video for me. I'm just going to be quiet now. Thanks for watching. I hope I've done enough to earn your uh, subscription. Please subscribe if you like the video. Give the video the thumbs up. Have a happy December 7th. And as always, I'll catch you guys later.